Hello everybody and welcome back. So in this tutorial we will touch on uh, switch scripting and the topic will be is to use a debugger uh, for server side scripts. And uh, so basically what we're gonna cover is we're gonna go over the server side script just in general. Uh, we'll look at the code that I'm gonna be using for testing. We're gonna upload the file, switch to debugger instance and then do some debugging, walk through the code and how does this debugger can help us to troubleshoot our issues with a server side script. Okay, so let's get into it. So when you are um, in NetSuite, in your production environment, uh, which I don't recommend, uh, but uh, if you are or if you're in sandbox, this is basically how you will look, right? So you will say sandbox here and then this. So the debugger mode allows you to have kind of like an instance of um, another um, environment. It's not technically another environment, but it runs differently. So we'll get into that a little bit later. So let's look at the code uh, that I prepared for so we know what's going on. So this is a simple code that I'm pulling a customer record. Uh, in, um, and then I'm just grabbing some of the uh, fields from the customer and then I uh, put them um, in a debug log and then I set the two field values and then I um, debug it again. So basically just put it back um, out on a log saying, hey, this is what's changed. So uh, this is a simple code and then they should do it, uh, what we need to uh, show it. So now you load this in your regular environment, wherever you want to test it. So if you're in a sandbox, you put this in your sandbox. So customization, scripting, and then all the way at the bottom, you can see the script debugger. And so once you click on that, this is going to give you this uh, kind of informational page on what this is about. And over here, you can actually read about uh, that and how it works in details. But over here, it says click here to log in. And so once you click on here, this will bring you to the debugger mode. And notice right here when you know you would have a sandbox or production environment or whatever you have it. Now it says a debugger. And so what this basically is, it's another running environment. The data that you do here, unlike your production and a sandbox are very different and you have a different data in them. In a debugger mode, you're actually using the same data. You're just running it on a different server that allows you to communicate between the um, user and the script. Because what this user um, event is, is when you trigger, um, if you saw my code, we're gonna trigger this on the before record submit. So what happens is that the user clicks save in uh, any environment, uh, and then that's when it sends a signal to the server and this code actually executes on the server. And that's why you can't really debug it in the browser. Usually if you are using the uh, um, a user event uh, script, you cannot do the debugger mode in the browser because that code is not available for you to look. So if you like to debug uh, codes um, for the users on the, when you press the F12, and it gives you that uh, browser mode. Let me just do that quickly. So right here, when you click the debugger right here, it will give you all this, what you need to do. Well, that's not gonna work because it's this uh, script we're running is on a server, but this allows you to actually communicate between them two in this special debugger mode. So now that you're here, so what is it gonna do now is um, we're gonna click debug existing because we already have it again now this should have uh, you should have that um, script already loaded if you don't see it here that means it's not um it's not loaded correctly and you have issues with that but once you find it you click on user event uh, this is the one that we're actually doing select and close and now it's going to tell you waiting on the user action so at this point we need to go and find the customer and just to let you know that um this is gonna time out. Uh, there's a script in timeout, I think it's like two minutes. So um, let me go and find the record. 
So we're gonna go and list um, and make sure you are in debugger and you're not in the other environment. List relationship and we'll find the customer. Um, and so when I open any customer, uh, let's do this one. So now I'm gonna be manipulating that. So when I click edit, and so my script gonna trigger on after I click save before it pushes the data. So now here it still says waiting. As soon as I click save, watch what is gonna happen. Now this is stalling, nothing's happening because now this um, code is triggered, right? So this is kind of like you're on the server side now. And now this debugger lets you see that um, server side script and now this is basically just a normal debugger mode. What you can do is you can step out, uh, step over, you can uh, step um, into it, and you can click play all the way out. And so what we wanna do is kind of go over here on what this actually do. So you can put your breakers uh, here where you want your code to stop, and it will run until then. So when you now when you click this play, continue all the way, it will run all the way to your next debugger here to stop. Now, over here execution log, you can see already that my codes already uh, produced an execution, um, execution log here. If I look at this and you click on the local variables, you will see all your variables that uh, this code produces stored in here. So you can kind of follow through them and see their values. What you can also do is you can go and add them to the watch. So if you go and add comments in here, this will add um, the code. So if you have a lot of variables, in this case, not really necessarily, but if you have a lot of variables and you wanna watch certain ones that you are very interested in, this is where you put them. And then evaluate expressions. I'm not gonna get into it, but you can actually evaluate your expressions right away. So you can pull your variables and you can do calculations on them. You can do some testing in them, setting different values to them to kind of see where your code breaks. Uh, and then your breakpoints here. So this is actually, whenever you add the breakpoints, they will go in here and you can remove them from here or you can just remove them from here, whichever you like. So this is kind of overview. So when I click on this and I'm just gonna, let's just go through a little bit uh, and click uh, till the next one. Uh, or you can just go one by one. So you can go and execute one line at a time, one statement. And you can kind of see in your execution log and local variables how this uh, variables will be cha uh, changing. As you can see, we're pulling the, the, this information from the customer record and this values of this change. So there you go, your customer ID change, your email. Now we're gonna get the comments. Uh, comments are undefined for now, but once I click to the next line, um, you will see that now it's actually a string and there's nothing in them. So this is what it does. And um, just basically go through, if you have any issues with new code, it's gonna go through and you can pause and you can investigate and kind of see what's happening uh, with your code. So this should help you debug the server side script in this debugger mode that NetSuite developed specifically for the user event script uh, that you can combine them together. And once you go through all the way, um, you can kind of see pushing all the way through and it's done and now your customer record will be saved. And now everything that we did is here on the customer. Um, and right there, we're setting those comments in and we also set in this new coupon, uh, coupon code manually. There's no real logic to that. Just kind of wanted to walk you guys through and do now. Uh, you can keep repeating, you can um, do another one. Um, and just basically this should guys help you uh, with debugging your scripts. If you guys have any comments or if you know any other tricks, uh, and I will be posting another video on how to debug other types of scripts inside of NetSuite. So thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Keep on sweating.